in the dunk, dank forests. Dread elves are facing sylvan elves in a dawn assault. Hold the center. The dread elves have apparently chosen the army composition according to the coolest units. That is uh, an old fashioned strategy, has served well many a time. Vanguarding is underway. The Sylvan Elf shapeshifter started the vanguarding and is being opposed by Dark Riders. The Sylvans vanguard their kestrels with bows against the gargoyles. Eller vad heter de? Uh, Gorgons. Gorgons. The Gorgons. They have a petrifying stare with armor penetration 10. Two hits on each unit at initiative 10, agility 10, each round in combat. Sylvan Elves start second as the Dread Elves advance towards the objective of holding the center. The Dread Elves have two units of auxiliaries with repeating crossbows and one core unit of Spear Elves as well as the old executioners, judicators now with great weapons and plus one to wound. A manticore saddling or being saddled by a warlock, wizard master with witchcraft and we'll take a look at its spells. Here's the cavalry. The Sylvan Elves have a wizard master with spells number one, uh, the healing spell, and twining roots, and stone skin, and the big healing spell, number six. The apprentice on a unicorn has shamanism, very good filming abilities, and uh, spell number one, awaken the beast. Here are the dread elf spells. which will be featured in the first magic round. This first magic round is brought to you by witchcraft and artificial intelligence. Yes, for the Dreadle's first round um, we had some, some movement. The battle line moved straight forward as fast as possible, almost. And over here on this flank the, the raiders put in a wound on the shapeshifter. These auxiliars shot down uh, two. What are they called? Dancers. Play dancers. Yeah, play dancers. And uh, this unit of auxiliaries shot down three wild huntsmen. And here we have a face of. In the first Sylvan turn, the Wild Huntsmen charge the Auxiliaries. They take one casualty in Wild Huntsmen on the charge. They don't manage to heal up any Huntsmen. They lose one in the combat, and the Auxiliaries stand on Steadfast. A couple of Auxiliaries are killed on the flank where the Shapeshifter charged in alone. In a challenge against the champion. No, only the champion was killed with overkill, of course. Now, turn two for the Dread Elves. And the shapeshifter is being charged by the Cold One Knights. So, after the second Dread Elf turn, uh, the shapeshifter got beaten down by the prince. And 
they have a short overrun by the Raptor Knights. The Raiders shot down some dancers, also got an unnecessary hex on themselves. Deceptive glamour? <laughs> yeah, but only the... <laughs> Three are left. But only the low version, because the caster wasn't clever enough to cast the boosted one. And by the caster we mean the model, not the player. Exactly. Um, and here the, the other prince and the auxiliaries scared the... I think they got one wound in on the druid and uh, broke them. And over here we have a glorious wizard monster combat. Where we did uh, one wound each, one on the dragon and one on the manticore. Uh, the Kestrels over here got the uh, got Will of the Wisp, so they won't charge anything this turn. And over here the Gorgons are buffed with some evil eyes. So we are finish finishing off Dreadels turn 3 and uh, here we the Dreadels general had some, uh, some hard decisions. To be able to make a swift reform, the knights had to push forward, so they marched up here uh, against the wild huntsmen. But luckily, the non dying enemy got in, and uh, they're, they're not so afraid anymore. Uh, the raiders shot down some huntsmen, and uh, the dryads are hexed with evil eye. The auxiliaries here try to finish off these dancers, but only managed to kill one. The Udicators back down a bit, and uh, so did the spears. The prince uh, over here charged out by itself and uh, beat down some dancers and then uh, scared them off. And the crossbows backed up. The harpies tried to sweep some uh, kestrels, but failed. But over here, the big wizard monster fight is over, and the manticore is victorious. Uh, it pursued into the ruins and uh, took one dangerous, so uh, it's not so healthy anymore. And the gorgons, they uh, first off they charged the druid remaining the unicorn druid and the remaining huntsman of the board but then failed their um, uh, redirect test and they had a nice flank on the spears on the forest guards so but they ended up here in front of the rangers so that's uh, I can say the, the prince elected to stay instead of pursuing the last dancers. So now we're off to Sylvan's turn 3. On their turn 3 the Sylvan Elves charged and killed the two Gorgons with the forest rangers. They're turning to face the battle in a reform. The archers shot down the Dread Prince, Charge. three wounds by themselves. Now in their turn 4 it looks like the auxiliaries are helping the spear elves by charging the drides. I don't know how long the charge is. But there are many charges against the chaffing blade dancers here. These blade dancers kept running and the wild huntsmen backed away from their situation with the raptor riders and the tree men failed to charge against their rear. The uh, Heath Riders did not manage to shoot the last wound of the Manticore, but the Kestrels killed the Harpies in a charge. And here we go, there's one point on the objective for the Dread Elves still. Or two points now. Yep. Two points now for the Dread Elves. So, Dread Elf turn 4, and um, the table is starting. <laughs> Starting to turn a little towards the Sylvan side. <laughs> On this flank, we had 
the warlock that was stuck in the ruins uh, <laughs> attempted to to get away from some uh, rangers and some shooting and um, perhaps no if it is perhaps a bad choice but elected to march and uh, the manticore took another wound to dangerous terrain and died so both the wizards monsters are gone and um, here the auxiliaries shot down a kestrel and uh, backed up like this and panic test for the kestrel yeah. it fled okay <laughs> so they fled and the auxiliaries hadn't counted on the spears being beaten by the dryads Spears are now here, and the dryads are perfectly in the flank. Um, they, um, I think they broke mostly because they, they got no buffs. Uh, the little un unlucky dice rolling. Um, but that's how it looks right now. And we're here. The... Judicators killed two dancers. These auxiliaries had a chance to save the spears, uh, but failed uh, the charge to, to make it to the flank, and they also failed the reroll. So they left the spears hanging there. Over here, the Raiders tried to shoot some wild huntsmen, but nothing got through. The the knights are sneaking up outside of the the line of sight. And now we're over to Sylvan's turn four. And uh, shot in. Fearless must have stopped. In round four, the Sylvan elves took one point in the objective. Now it's 2-1 on the objective for the Dread Elves. The Sylvan Elves also charge the Auxiliaries the, and the Spear Elves. Both fled. The Dryads charged. The Heath Riders charged. And uh, the Heath Riders caught one unit of... Was that... that spears. The, the Spears. In the charge. The Dryads failed their charge and the Auxiliaries are fleeing. The Treemen charged these Auxiliaries in the rear. They lost the combat and fled with their Dread Prince General, but the Treemen opted not to pursue because the one dangerous unit left on the Dread Elf side is the Ju Ju Judicators. Judicators. And now turn 5 for the Dread Elves sees a charge coming from the Raptor Riders. Dread Elf turn 5, we had a charge from the Raptors and they killed one dancer and uh, the dancer killed one in return. So that was a push there. Uh, the Prince and the Auxiliaries rallied and are blocking the Huntsman. The executioners are getting ready for the last fight, they hope. And here the auxiliaries rallied too. This round, the Sylvan Elves did not capitalize on the upper hand. They charged the auxiliaries there with five Heath Riders. Three were killed and the Heath Riders fled. Three Heath Riders were killed and they fled. The auxiliaries pursued but not into the Kestrels. The drives just turned, trying to control the objective. The spear elves chaffed the ju uh, judicators, <laughs> and uh, the one remaining blade dancer killed one raptor rider with lethal strike, and died in return. The raptors are angling in on a charge in their last turn, probably against the spear elves. The four Wild Huntsmen charging the Auxiliaries and a Dread Prince. 
were killed by the Dread Prince with Agility 8. The three men, however, had charged their rear in the same turn and won by a lot of combat resolution, killing four, five auxiliaries, but they stand with the BSB just beside them. The Judicators, though, have not been in fighting this match. The Sylvan Elves have tried to avoid it, but they will get the chance this turn. Let's see, turn six for Dread Elves. The Sylvan Elf player made a Sylvan move and fled with its chaffing unit. Spare Elf fled from a charge from the Raptor Riders and then fled on as the Judicators had to charge them as well. The Raptors did not redirect but the Judicators are redirecting onto the Forest Rangers. I guess the Raptors will also redirect now since you're Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a failed charge. It's a long charge. It's a 13 charge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So the battle has ended and uh, the Sylvan Elves managed to uh, take a solid vi victory in the end. And we are trying to figure out <laughs> How that happened? How did the dread, yeah. dread elves manage to snatch defeat out from the jaws of victory? Yeah. So the the Sylvans must have played really well the, the last three turns. I then. must have done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the the. Can you say the three man was the model of the match? Yeah. You can say. It broke the um, auxiliaries and prints twice. Yeah. Uh, but didn't in the end it never caught them, but uh, still very important. And uh, saved the objective from the auxiliaries. And um, well the archers didn't do much. They shot down the uh, prince. Yeah, that that's was huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they 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 did their points. My the bad. The non-general prince. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that that was a big thing. Perhaps bigger than than, um, than I. Uh, it could have uh, caused a lot of problems if it had lived. Yeah, definitely. And the forest strangers, what did they do? Not much. Not much. Nothing at all, really. They killed. They did kill the Gorgons. Yeah, that's quite vague so too. Yeah. Um, the Gorgons obviously failed. On their flank. Yeah. yeah but they they did scare off and got the points from a druid and. The, Wild Huntsman, but uh, yeah. they could have done more if they had. Judicators yeah. did nothing. But that exactly. was a but, yeah, Well, they uh, hold the objective quite well. Yeah, for two turns. Yeah, and uh, they, they didn't, didn't perform bad, even though they didn't fight. Um, well, the auxiliaries over there, when the prince had left them, they were not very important anymore and just got beaten by a bunch of stuff. Uh, so they weren't that good. Well, and the forest gods, yeah. They did very little. They didn't do much either. I think except the saved something else from a charge. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of fine power points with movement and uh, Dread, Dread Elves did not manage to get their flank with the Gorgons or um, control of the other flank, so maybe that was uh, uh, the, yeah. central. The Dread Elves lost both flanks and uh, didn't uh, manage to hold the middle very well either. So. No, the, the Sylvans avoided match with fight with the Judicators. The Judicators whole held the middle, which was the objective for half the game. Yeah. 
So, yeah, it's a... Uh, Yeah, it must have been the flanks really, that played out very well. Yeah. So the drills only had the judicators left in the end. So, so well played on those. The dryads, dryads did very well, man. both beating the spears and then. Uh, Holding the objective at the same time as they uh, were out of range, uh, reach for combat. So he yeah. also did beat the auxiliaries in the end, but that was mostly a gamble to lure them away. So it was was not no miracle to be expected there, even though I hoped. <laughs> yeah, you made some punts in the end. Yeah. So, solid Sylvan win and a really good game. In a game that I have, have to be <laughs> fought over for a long while, I think. Yes. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you another day.